So sometimes I like to do a lip trill when I go, and that gets the vocal cords going, you know? Inspiring, powerful, beautiful, emotional, enchanting, and just an overall really empowering story. Oh, my happy place is obviously at home with my children, with my fiance, with my dogs, but it's also out to sea. And that is no joke. Like I love being, I don't know, I just love being on a boat. I just feel the most free I've ever felt at sea. Oh, no, maybe not that. Well, I can make a, sh a weird shape with my tongue, I don't know, like. And then I can also do. Uh, that was really weird and very useless. Is that a bit gross? Best advice I've ever been given is to not listen to what anyone else says and just follow my dream and block out the haters and do me. Acting or singing. Oh. I feel like singing's my main love, my first love. So, oh gosh, I'm gonna have to say singing, guys. I love acting, but singing is my first one true love. I feel like the person I would most like to narrate my life would be Meghan Markle. She's ultimate queen, really. I think my favorite thing about recording Little Mermaid was exploring the emotions. Um, reading through the whole story and like feeling it I think that was my favorite thing and like when I finished I was like oh my gosh like it's deeper than I even imagined and I think that's from reading it out loud so the whole experience was incredible I loved it I've never done anything like this before so it was just amazing to be able to experience that and yeah bring the story to life Thank you for listening to my Audible 8. Please go and listen to The Little Mermaid. It is out on Audible right now.